Hello everybody, Tyler Rowland here, I'm at Paul G. Blazer High School, and with me is a center on the Ashland Kittens basketball team, Michaela Martin, and Michaela who's averaged, averaged nearly a double-double over the course of her career as a kitten and now a senior, and Michaela, good to, good to see you here. First off, talk about your conditioning over the summer, because Coach Bradley, one of the things he mentioned is that you're in the best shape of your career right now. And what did you do over the summer to take it to the next level? After I tore my ACL, I really got into doing CrossFit and stuff. So do you know Jerry Saltzer? Mm -hmm. I did CrossFit with him and my friend every morning. And I worked out constantly, wanted to be in good shape. And I think my ACL tearing that inspired me to get in better shape. And I just kept with it all this time and through the summer and we had travel ball. I didn't do travel ball last year, but we had um, camps and stuff with our team, and we just kept practicing, wanted to get in the gym as much as possible and work out, so I kept mm -hmm. with that. And then you mentioned the a ACL tear, because I know your, your sister had had the same, same injury. What did you feel like your inspiration was overcoming that? I had a lot of support from my family, friends, and well they, we've already been through it twice so we already knew what to expect with therapy and Miranda was a great sister friend that was there for me and she knew how what it felt like so she was great at telling me what I needed to hear to stay motivated stay determined to get back to playing basketball mm -hmm. And one thing last year where you really expanded your game. I remember you were playing, I think Russell might have been your first game, and yeah. you hit two threes in that game. Talk about what it's been like over the course of your career because you've gone over from a low post player to now somebody who can play in the low post but will also handle the ball or shoot the occasional three. I, when I was younger, I did feel I was only comfortable with the post moves, post shots, finishing really close to the rim. And once I started shooting more, being in the gym more, I was like, why not? Let's take a few shots outside in the game. And I went like seven, five for seven last year. I don't take that many threes, <laughs> but I tried to more and more when it's open. But I'd much rather drive and try to get my points that way. And talk about the teammates, because this is, this is, when you look at it, Michaela, this is a, a special group you have. You're in contention to win the region this year, and this being Bill Bradley's final year. Just talk about all of that with your teammates and with Coach Bradley and just what it means to you. Well, this team we have this year is really like a family. We all love each other. We all support each other and everything. It's one of the closest years I feel like we've been with the team and our coaches and Riley came to me first, and he told me it's going to be his last season. And I felt, like, honored to, like, he wanted to end it with me. And I was like, wow, that makes me feel special. And I love how we were all like, okay, we're going to end it. This is our last year. Me and the twins talked about it. It's like, well, let's go as far as we can. Because I believe with all the people we have on this team, we are – like we're special in this love that we have like I don't want it to end I want it to go as far as we can and what's it like playing for coach Bradley <laughs> we definitely get into it sometimes but it's like I know he we have love for each other like he loves me as a coach and it's just great to have that role model and leadership in my life he's a great guy like he understands but we do get into it, but we always come around, and he's always like, this team comes first. He wants me to be good leadership for the rest of my team, and I understand that, and I try to. And I know he wants the best for me, and I, I'm like, just glad to, that he holds me to that respect and holds me to being a leader to this team. Mm -hmm. And lastly, uh, two questions. First, the academic side. I know that you probably definitely have ambitions of playing at the next level and talk about what you've accomplished in the classroom. Well I have like a 4.0 that's cumulative and uncumulative is like 4.6 six something. I haven't made a B in my high school career so I'm, that's a proud thing to say. 
I take school very seriously and I try to keep the best grades I have, which I think helps me to be more responsible in wanting to take care of myself outside. And I do plan on going to EKU. I don't, I don't plan on playing college. I lost, I just didn't have a dream for it after my injury too. I just didn't want to continue along that. I'm more focusing on my school and getting a good job and a good degree. So I'm gonna, I have applied to EKU and that's probably where I'm gonna be at in the fall. Well, nice, congratulations. And, and lastly, what's something, I know you and your sister, who was also a, a nice player here a few years ago, and I know that um, you all are pretty close. What's something maybe that you all do for, to kick back and have fun? <laughs> this is gonna be really funny, but we got a Wii this Christmas. So we've been playing Mario, <laughs> and we just finished it, actually. Um, but that's something we do to bond together. We go work out all the time. We used to play one-on-one. -on -one. I win, by the way. <laughs> but we're more friends than sisters, and I'm grateful to have her in my life. Nice. Well, Michaela, thank you for your time, and be sure to stay tuned. You'll see plenty of the Ashland Kittens this year and of course Michaela's and Bill Bradley's final season and we will it, you'll get to see the action on my town TV and thank you thank you for tuning in today we will see you soon